the prospects for reconciliation between the royal family and Meghan Markle look increasingly bleak. Despite Meghan's desire to resolve issues, the royal family remains unwilling to sit down with her at this time. Even if Harry and Meghan were to attempt mending fences, their efforts are likely to be met with indifference, given the ongoing tensions and recent challenges, including the cancer diagnoses of King Charles and Princess Catherine. Harry seems ready to move forward, but Meghan is deeply hurt and yearns for a discussion. The Sussexes did reach out, both privately and publicly, to offer support to Catherine upon hearing about her condition. Yet, these gestures have done little to bridge the widening gap. Since their departure from royal duties in 2020, both sides have been waiting for apologies that seem unlikely to come, leading to a hopeless stalemate. King Charles is particularly distressed by the lack of contact with his grandchildren. Archie and Lilibet, the thought of them growing up without knowing their grandfather weighs heavily on him. Although he has considered making an official visit to the United States to see them, the significant planning hurdles make this an unlikely prospect. The family rift appears as deep and unresolvable as ever, leaving little hope for a harmonious future. Megan S. audacity in wanting to reconcile with the royal family after her unacceptable actions is astounding. Is she truly seeking to mend relationships? Or is this a calculated step back to make eight steps forward with even more nefarious schemes and intentions? Given her track record, it's hard to believe she's genuinely changed. The royal family should be extremely cautious with Meghan because her potential actions are unpredictable. This reconciliation move could just be a new act, a part of a larger strategy to regain trust and then exploit it for personal gain. Perhaps she is seeking to return to the royal family not to make amends, but for the potential benefits that this relationship could bring. Looking back, Meghan has not hesitated to criticize, attack, and tarnish the royal family's reputation in the public eye. She has written books, given interviews, and produced documentaries to disgrace her husband as family. So why now is the intent to reconcile? The answer likely lies in personal ambition, power, and fame. Meghan cannot be considered trustworthy, and the royal family should be wary of any of her moves. Behind the facade of someone seeking reconciliation may be complex calculations and hidden agendas. Meghan has shown she is willing to use any means to achieve her goals. Therefore. The royal family should not quickly trust or accept her back without high levels of caution and vigilance. Remember, once deceived, every action and word of Megan S. should be scrutinized carefully. In this context, Megan S. sudden desire for reconciliation only heightens suspicions about her true intentions. Perhaps this is merely the first step in a long-term plan full of schemes and calculations. If so, the royal family must be ready to deal with new tricks Megan might pull ensuring they are not exploited again. The royal family's decision to refuse a sit-down with Meghan Markle is not only justifiable but also a commendable demonstration of their discernment and resolve. After all the damage and chaos Meghan has caused, she fully deserves this rejection. This choice underscores the royal family's wisdom in protecting their integrity and maintaining their dignity amidst relentless public scrutiny. In standing firm... The royal family has not only preserved their own honor, but also set a crucial precedent. They are demonstrating that loyalty and respect are paramount, and that those who seek to undermine these principles will not be given a platform for further deceit. Megan S. actions have shown that she is more interested in personal gain and public attention than in genuine reconciliation or family unity. Furthermore, by rejecting Megan S. overtures, the royal family is safeguarding the emotional well-being of its members. They are rightfully prioritizing the stability and peace of their internal relationships over the unpredictable and potentially toxic presence of someone who has repeatedly sown discord. This decision reflects a deep understanding of the importance of protecting family harmony from external threats. Harry, despite his apparent desire to reconcile with the royal family, faces an insurmountable obstacle in Meghan Markle. His yearning to mend the fractured ties is palpable. Yet as long as Meghan remains in the picture, his chances of success are virtually nil. Meghan S. influence over Harry is profound and, many would argue, detrimental to his relationship with his family. Her presence and actions have consistently created rifts and perpetuated conflicts, making any genuine reconciliation seem impossible.
The core issue lies in Harry S. continued alignment with Megan S. worldview, which often stands in stark opposition to the values and traditions of the royal family. Megan S. actions and rhetoric have shown a pattern of prioritizing her narrative and grievances over the collective well-being and unity of the family. This has not only alienated her, but also placed Harry in a position where his loyalty appears divided. The royal family, known for its emphasis on unity, discretion, and duty, is understandably wary of welcoming back a member who seems to be influenced by such divisive forces. For Harry to even begin to repair the damage, a significant shift would need to occur. This shift would involve not just distancing himself from Megan S. influence, but also a complete re-evaluation of his own values and priorities. The possibility of reconciliation might increase if Harry were to separate from Megan, as this would signal a clear break from the source of much of the conflict. However, this is a complex and deeply personal decision that Harry may not be ready or willing to make. Moreover, Harry S. continued inability to see through Megan S. manipulations is a testament to his naivety. He remains enmeshed in her narrative, often acting as her spokesperson rather than as an independent member of the royal family. This dynamic is unlikely to change unless Harry undergoes a profound personal transformation. The royal family, while open to forgiveness and second chances, is also protective of its legacy and values. They would need to see genuine change and a clear commitment to family unity from Harry before considering any form of reconciliation. In general, Meghan needs to grow up. She sounds like a very spoilt little madam. So what if she feels hurt? She will just have to accept it. It happens to everyone now and then, and you have to take it on the chin and get on with things and people. Yes, even if they have hurt you in some way. Someday you might get some kind of chance to talk about what hurt you, but you have to prove you are worth bothering about first, sometimes. I actually don't think she is worth it, and I think the royal family sees that too. Everything seems to have to be on her terms, and she doesn't think about the situation through other people's eyes. But that is what you have to do if you are going to make up. She seems incapable of understanding others. I know that as what narcissists are like. It seems Megan has a long list of people especially A-listers, whom she believes have wronged her. She married Harry with the expectation that she would be at the forefront, possibly even outshining the queen. In her mind, she was an exceptionally special individual, deserving of all the spotlight and adulation. Her inflated self-perception is both delusional and narcissistic. Megan S. sense of entitlement is astounding. She thought marrying into the royal family would automatically place her above everyone else granting her unprecedented fame and influence. Her behavior suggests she believed she could manipulate and control her new role to suit her ambitions, disregarding centuries of tradition and the collective efforts of the royal family. It would be enlightening to hear from her UK staff and others who were subjected to her demands and freed from their NDAs. The truth about her conduct behind closed doors would likely reveal a stark contrast to the public persona she tries to project. Megan S. attempts to position herself as a victim while exploiting her royal connections for personal gain are hypocritical and manipulative. Let her stay in California, isolated in her self-imposed exile, and sob on the floor. She made her choices, and now she must face the consequences of her actions. The royal family, the staff she mistreated, and the public deserve to see her true colors. Megan's relentless pursuit of fame and her utter disregard for the values and responsibilities that come with her position have alienated her from those who initially welcomed her. She is reaping what she has sown, and the pity she seeks is overshadowed by the reality of her own making. Harry and Meghan would have to grovel for years before the royal family would ever consider welcoming them in a family capacity. They will never take part in royal duties again and they are not to be trusted. The king may regret a bit not seeing grandchildren he doesn't know, but the institution of the monarchy and the health and welfare of himself, his wife, and his loyal children take precedence. Were the king to come to the U.S., it would not be to the West Coast, but to a state visit in the nation as capital, and a visit is some time off as we see who will win U.S. elections, and of course, the king has cancer treatment. No visits from the monarch to Montecito will ever happen. I don't think the king will go to Montecito either. For him, the country and the monarchy will always come first. 
We know that King Charles has spent his entire life preparing for his role, embodying the values and responsibilities that come with the crown. His commitment to duty, tradition, and the well-being of the nation has always been paramount, guiding his actions and decisions. Traveling to Montecito to visit Harry and Meghan would not only be logistically complex, but also symbolically problematic. Such a visit could be seen as prioritizing personal relationships over the broader interests of the monarchy and the country. The king understands the delicate balance he must maintain, ensuring that personal emotions do not overshadow his duties as the sovereign. A trip to Montecito would likely be viewed as an endorsement of Harry and Meghan's actions, which have often been at odds with the values and expectations of the royal family. Moreover, Harry needs to decline the American Hero Award and it is baffling that he is even in consideration for such an accolade. If he accepts, he will likely solidify his position as the most disliked celebrity of 2024. Right now, he is holding strong at number two, just behind his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry's fall from grace is a spectacle that continues to unfold with each misguided decision he makes, accepting an American Hero Award, especially considering his actions over the past few years is the epitome of irony. What heroic acts has he performed? His public image has been marred by endless complaints, self-pity, and a consistent airing of dirty laundry about his own family. Instead of embodying the qualities of a hero, Harry has chosen to portray himself as a perpetual victim, a narrative that has worn thin with both the British public and many in the United States. What exactly qualifies Harry for this award? Is it his abandonment of royal duties? leaving his family and country in turmoil? Is it his relentless attacks on the institution that raised him, provided for him, and gave him a platform? Or perhaps it asks his willingness to spill private family matters for public consumption and profit. These actions are not those of a hero. They are the actions of someone who is deeply confused about the meaning of duty and responsibility. Moreover, his continued alignment with Meghan, who has successfully alienated both of their families further diminishes any semblance of heroism. Harry has allowed himself to be used as a pawn in Meghan's quest for fame and influence, losing sight of the values he once purported to uphold. His inability to see through her manipulations is both tragic and infuriating, as it drags down not only his reputation, but also that of the monarchy. Cannot forget her interview in the cut with her veiled threat to speak out against the royal family, and where she boasted about not having signed an NDA. What a delusional pair. They owe a huge apology to his family and her father, and to the people of this country. The royal family, including deceased members, have been genuinely hurt dozens of times by what Meghan has said and done over the years. But the story of hurt belongs to the past when the royal family was unprepared and taken aback by the shameless, uncivilized actions of Meghan and Harry, now that their true faces have been revealed. It is impossible for the royal family to be affected or hurt. The royal family has learned valuable lessons from those initial shocks and has become more vigilant and resilient than ever. The truth about Meghan and Harry has gradually come to light through their unrestrained actions and statements. From criticizing the royal family in interviews, publishing books filled with baseless accusations, to releasing documentaries aimed at discrediting their own family, Meghan and Harry have shown clearly that they have no interest in preserving the royal family's reputation. Instead, they have chosen a path of attack, causing unnecessary harm. However, those times are over. The royal family has now become stronger, smarter, and more prepared to deal with any attacks from Meghan and Harry. They have fortified their ranks, strengthened internal unity, and developed communication strategies to protect their reputation. Any attempts by Meghan and Harry to harm the royal family will be met with strong and effective resistance. Moreover, the public has become more aware. Initially, many might have been swept up in the dramatic and emotional stories created by Meghan and Harry. But over time, the truth has gradually been revealed, and the public has begun to see their true nature. Support and sympathy for Meghan and Harry have significantly decreased while trust and respect for the royal family have increased. With centuries of history and tradition, the royal family is not easily defeated by Meghan and Harry S. tricks. They have survived countless upheavals and crises and will continue to stand strong against any challenge.
Meghan and Harry may try everything to have an impact, but they have lost the respect and credibility needed to truly hurt the royal family. In the future, any moves from Meghan and Harry will be met with skepticism and vigilance by both the royal family and the public. The royal family not only stands firm, but has also grown stronger from these trials. The pains of the past have become valuable lessons, helping the royal family build a more solid and resilient future. Well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching our video, and I want to know what you think about these issues. Please express your opinion in the comments below. Hope you will always be cheerful and happy. Don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.